Let me show you what happens when we fire this copper wire. Today I'm going to be putting copper wire on this and putting a, a white glaze over and we're going to see what happens. So I had this is just a bisque uh, piece. You can see I have a chip in the foot. So I'd set it aside not knowing. I generally don't break my pieces. I'll keep them around and then I'll use them for a test like this. But I wanted something with a shoulder because I'd like to kind of put up a, a necklace with a little piece hanging down and then we'll dunk it in some white. So here's what I'm going to be using. Some multi-strand copper wire and I'll peel off one or two of these strands and use that for what we're going to put on the bottle here. So I don't want this waviness, but to get rid of it I like to drag it across a well, just about anything, in this case a screwdriver. And I didn't mention, I've already dipped the bottom half and lined the interior, so I should be able to have dry fingers on this when I dip the top over the wire. I just wanted to kind of hold on. Now he might say, uh, great, it's not exactly touching. How are you gonna glaze over that? That's a good question, I'm not sure. I can just dunk it and it will flap up and flop down and it'll be what it'll be. We're gonna go ahead and stick it in and then let it flop to where it wants to be. No, it's not where you wanna be. So, like that. Not a real coating, but it's got a film on it, so that, that's certainly better than better than nothing. A little drip, but I want to see will any of this pattern carry. And likely because it's not touching the pot, it'll have some in air or melting and it'll kind of drift and I'll probably lose the suggestion of that swirl. Maybe if I did it bigger it would stand out, but just curious to see how much it runs. And I expect it to be green and black. So we'll see. So here it is before it goes into the kiln. And tomorrow we'll find out what it did. Okay, so here it is fresh out of the kiln. Uh, this is why it's a good idea to put a tile on the bottom of pieces that are going to run. Because although it did run as expected, it kind of had a capillary action and only a tiny bit actually touched the shelf so I call that a success and because it's a test piece I could knock these off I could probably get it off and grind it but I, I don't waste the time doing that so here's where our pendant hung absolutely no curl I wasn't optimistic I was going to be able to see it what does surprise me is how much run we had back here where, you know, why didn't it run any in these spots? One thing this tells me is that that wire, even though it wasn't really big, was probably too thick. If I did this again, or I definitely will do this again, I want to get really, really fine wire and maybe lay it on in, in patterns and to see can we get it to flash. Because it's pretty and it's cool and this is not like something you're putting food on, so don't have to worry about that really. So that's how it came out.